welcome back to the Sims Decades Challenge. This is episode 14. We aged up our twin girls, the youngest two, and they're teens now. So we have four teenagers, which is super fun. But the oldest daughter, Ellie, is almost ready to age up to a young adult. So just trying to get all the kids here used to farming. So we have the girls working with the chicken coops and the cow and the cow's getting up there in age so we might get another visit from Grimm this episode so keep an eye on that too and we're still only using a bathtub no showers so we have to really strategically plan when people go to the bathroom and when people shower I did make a second bathroom stall on the outhouse because there's just too many people having to go to the bathroom at the same time so we have her dealing with the cow and Colette deal with the cow, and Maggie was dealing with the chickens. These cool pop-ups from the new pack, the uh, Growing Together pack, um, people can kind of choose what discussions they like. They also can change their traits or add traits. It's kind of crazy. Well, behave, Bella, for you. Sitchim. Alphanes. Orphan. Kabura. I just like watching them interact with each other sometimes. I don't know. It's just funny. Scuba. Ellie doesn't seem to be too thrilled to be doing the garden work today. I'm also having the girls work on some creative skills like violin and painting because they're for the 1890s they're limited as to what they can do. Definitely limited with what they can do with jobs. So working on their hobbies, I guess. We have Ellie talking with mom. Mom has been fascinated with that piece of clay. I don't want to get rid of it because there's so few things that get their fun up. But. She's a little glitchy there, that animation. I think, I can't remember what I have. Oh, she's sick now. So the mom's sick. Well, that's another thing. Now that I have the uh, get to work pack, they get sick. So I stuck a computer in the bathroom they have no access to, so they can't get to the computer, but then I can order medicine. So I put some medicine in their inventory. So they have some. So tried to get some pictures. <laughs> I'm not very good at taking pictures in The Sims. Kind of suck at it. As you can tell by my videography too. <laughs> not so good that either. <laughs> Having George help with the farm. I have to clean the shed, the cow shed, like twice a day it seems like or it gets funky quick. All four kids eating together at the table. Nice. Oh, he, see, Grim. I think he's going for the cow, but, oh yeah, because he spawned by the chicken coop, it kind of threw me, but I think all our chickens are young now. We don't have any elder chickens. Yep. Brown cow, your time is over. This is sad. <laughs> sad and creepy, so I don't know. Come on, Grim, do your dirty work. Yeah, I had to back off there. It's so sad. The music's sad. Chicken's running away. <laughs> He's like, I am out of here. It took me forever to figure out what I wanted to get. I hemmed and hauled over whether I wanted to try getting a llama or get another cow. So I just want another cow. I stick with what I know. Okay, we're here for another family breakfast. Trying to get the girls' skills up in like cooking and stuff. Can't have mom doing all the work. At least they're old enough to help now. But mom likes to have things clean, so she's getting a little stressed now that these bathrooms are gross and kitchens usually got dirty plates and stuff floating around in it. But it makes her happy to clean, so that's easy enough to do. Just gotta remember to do it. Maggie's stuck on the chicken. Chicks, chickens like hanging around the doors of the outhouse for some reason. I don't know why. The animals just don't seem to like the mom too much. I don't know why. Annie. Okay. Um, they usually gotta get. Well, that one seemed to be okay, but the last cow just for whatever reason just didn't seem to get along well with her. Still keeping on top with our garden. I have to sometimes go in and reset the plants because they keep disappearing every time I. Go to the main page, um, like the main page for the game. 
because when I log out, like if things get really laggy, sometimes I do that, or if it's glitchy. But then when I come back in, I have to reset all my plants. It's really annoying. But then sometimes I can evolve them, so I guess there's a bonus in there. I don't know if it has anything to do with it. I don't know. But they're getting all their money from the crops and the milk and the eggs, so we got to keep our farm going. Nobody works outside the home here. The teens are constantly angry for some reason. I don't know if it's just the teen thing or if there's something I'm doing wrong. But they're either like always in the red, like very angry, or they're super tense. Now their fun's usually down really low when they get home. And I don't know why that is. Because usually when they leave for school, their fun's not that bad. And by the time they come home, I don't tell them to work hard or study hard while they're at school. So I don't know. But um, this young man came over to visit one of the girls. I think he came to visit Maggie. But Maggie's having a temper tantrum by the mirror right now. So I figured he could play a game with her brother. Yeah, she's being a little moody today. Yeah. A little teenage angsty. That's okay. He doesn't seem to be scared off yet. Her doing her homework while, oops, while her company is here. I'm trying to get some pictures here. But as I said, I'm not very good at taking pictures in The Sims. Oh my gosh. I don't know why everybody's not finishing their meals. It keeps stopping and leaving the last few bites on their plate. Chickens are getting added in the kitchen. Cheese chickens, calm down. Calm down. I'm afraid if they're super angry, if they age up, then they're going to like die but we're gonna try it with ellie here at least she's not angry anymore huh. got mom to bake her a cake Hooray. try and age her up now come on ellie come make blow out your candles girl become a young adult get ready to move out of the house <gasps> there we go now when i click on her traits oh, i'm gonna try and do random no. unless it doesn't fit for the 1890s decade yeah like dance machine Perfectionist is fine. The dance machine is not so much an 1890s thing. I mean, not really. All right, we're going to put candles back on the cake and then stick it in the fridge. Hopefully nobody will eat it. So we can use it again. Because they last for a little while in the fridge. We got Dad taking care of the tree. Spraying it with some bug spray, which probably isn't whole super 1890s appropriate, but now he's just watering them. It's funny, when you tell him to water all, how he goes about it, he like darts around all over the place. It seems like there'd be a better order than that, but I don't, I don't know how it works. Keeps going back and forth between all of them instead of just kind of go, doing all the ones that are close together first. I don't know. Oh. All right, so now that Ellie is older. We need to get her a man. And there's not too many people in the town that I think is appropriate because we need to stick with our 1890s rules. And I'm trying to... I have a fella in my gallery that I'm going to just plop into a house. So, because one of the first rules in the 1890s rules I downloaded from online is that they may only marry within their ethnicity. So, she's a white girl. And she needs to marry a white guy, so I'm finding a cheap base game house that I can um, pull off my library and just plop into Newcrest for now. And I'm not going to go in and update the house for 1890s because I don't really care that much about it. But but I have a fella to stick in here, see if I can find him in my gallery. Now I'm Mocosa. I don't remember what I originally created this guy for, but we're going to use him for this. I think I'm going to change his aspiration, though. We're not going to be a mansion baron or anything. That's not, I don't know how super 1890s appropriate that is, but make it family oriented. How about that? He's already got a family oriented other trait there. 
All right. Mr. O'Connor is going to come. Well, actually, I guess Ellie's going to have to go visit him because he's not met her yet. So we'll see if we can have Ellie travel over there and meet him. That's not super 1890s appropriate. She should go with the chaperone, but we need to meet him somehow. And look at, see, look, everybody's pissy today. Holy moly. I leave for like five minutes and something happens to get everybody out of control. I don't know. Well, let's go visit our young man, our soon-to-be young man, see how things go. Let's see. Okay. I'm not gonna do oh, it. I know, it's know. raining. That's kind of sucky. See, just ignore the TV. <laughs> that's not 1890s at all, but that's okay. She won't be here that long. Alright, let's try and get their relationship level up a little bit here before we even try attempting any romance interaction. It won't go well. I'm not used to this new setup when they're <laughs> trying to find what I want them to talk about. It's a little tricky. It takes some time to get used to that new setup with the new update. I don't know. In bow. Sometimes the options that pop up are just weird. There we go. They seem to be like in each. Oh, see, that's too soon, sir. You cannot be moving in. You just met her five minutes ago. I know we need to move fast in The Sims, but that's a little too fast. Oh my gosh. She just wants to get to know you. Calm down. Maybe it's time to head home now, Ellie. He's getting the wrong idea. See, I'm afraid to say, say no. That's popped up a couple times. I'm afraid to say no. You know, we're not interested, but in case they get like a bad mood lit from that, but it hasn't happened yet, so. Now we gotta calm down Colette. She's gonna have a temper tantrum. Jeez Louise. It's a little disconcerting to sometimes see one of the teenagers whip out their phone and take a selfie <laughs> in the 1890s. I don't know if there's any way to stop that, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have cell phones in the 1890s. Barely had cell phones in the 1990s. Just cleaning up here. Finally getting everybody to bed. I usually just completely jump over night times because why sit here and watch people sleep? I don't know. <laughs> But sometimes it's kind of late by the time everybody gets to bed because we have to take our turns in the bathroom. And I am really tired of the thunderstorms. I may have to turn them off because they're just so loud and noisy and constant. It's cool that there's seasons, but I'm not so sure about the lightning storms. Yeah, all these pop-ups are kind of annoying sometimes. Ooh, that was close. What the heck? Oh, jeez. We almost lost Dad. Looks like he got struck by lightning. Let's take a shot of that. <laughs> I wish I would have got the actual lightning strike on camera. I'm glad he didn't die, though. I don't think I'm ready to have any of my first-generation Sims die, especially from a lightning strike. Oh, jeez. Well, we better get him inside. Have him eat dinner and stay away from the animal shed for a while. If it gets gross, then we'll just deal with it tomorrow. Why did they just reset themselves? I didn't do anything to reset them. See, it's just been a little glitchy since I got the new packs and the new update. I don't know. Have Mom keep knitting and Ellie keep knitting. It's so dark, even though it's not even nighttime yet. 
See the new personality trait pops up. Sometimes it can replace a personality trait and sometimes it just adds two. So we added a creativity creative to Ellie's traits. That's kind of cool. See, new personality trait for dad, romantic. That's cute that he still flirts with the wifey. I often forget to make them interact together, so it's nice they do it automatically. And of course, two of the siblings are in the red. Oh, crap. What? Colette just got struck by lightning, too. Two sims in a five-minute window. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. I think next time we will be turning thunderstorms off. Because that's ridiculous! I mean, come on! There's other things it could hit. There's trees it could have hit. Could have hit one of the chicken coops or the cow shed, but no, it has to hit my sims. Glad she didn't die. I still don't know who I want to be the heir in this stupid mud puddle. From all the rain, there's a mud puddle going out to the outhouse, and I think that's the second time somebody slipped in it. And then when they slip in the mud, they are dirty and they need to shower and I only have one bathtub and they're only allowed to take a bath and that takes forever. So I'm gonna try and put some paving down or stone pavers or something down see if that mud spot goes away. I think it'll be there for now but maybe next time it rains there won't be an actual patch of mud. I don't know if it works that way or not but maybe it'll keep them from falling because this is annoying. I mean they have to have an outhouse. It's the 1890s. That's part of the rules. I just don't know why this is driving me crazy today. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Because I can't constantly be bathing people. I guess I can have people shower in the rain. But with the lightning strikes, it's probably a bad idea. Lightning strikes, not lightning strikes. Oh my gosh. See, finally got through to daytime. He's miserable. Just play a game. Why are you so grumpy? Oh my gosh. Just play a game. Well, of course, she has to explode with pee. And she has to get a bath. Oh my goodness. Well, at least Ellie doesn't have to go to school. She can help with the chores and stuff. And she doesn't have to get a bath or anything right away. She can do it after her siblings go to school. We should try and invite... Michael, her uh, oh. potential boyfriend, to come over. See if we can advance that relationship a little bit. Uh, yes. He's kind of stuck. I've been trying to get him to go in the bathroom for like five minutes. I don't know what's going on. We did get a um, piece of a gem from Lightning Strike or Crystal. I don't know what that is. We can sell that. See, lightning strike doesn't hit any of the plants. You think they would, but no, it'll go after a person. Can a lightning strike, if it hits your house, cause a fire? I don't know if I've ever seen that in The Sims. I have had lightning hit my house and it's not caused a fire, so I guess not, but I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to get her to interact with the chickens here, but it doesn't look like it's going to go well. She seems stuck, too. Uh, let's try this again. Socialize with the chickens. Come on. Oh, yeah. See, I, <laughs> it didn't go over well. Why not? Why won't the chickens let you pet them? Dashimo. Take peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo with the chicken. No wonder it bit you. I keep moving the stupid rug. All right, we invited Michael over. Let's see if we can get our relationship up a little bit. Maybe get a little bit of a romance bar going. Apologize. Why do I have to apologize? Now the siblings are home and they're all grumpy and annoying. That's, I don't know how that's going to go over. Oh my goodness. Colette is so stinky. Everybody's so stinky. Hey, hey. Stinky and grumpy, it's a bad combination. He is exhausted. Oh my goodness. 
I'm doing a bad job of taking care of these guys. I don't know why. They leave. Well, the lightning storms and falling in the moon many times doesn't help, that's for sure. Oh! She's so stinky. I gotta work on these two. Daruk? Oh, see if I can get Ellie and Michael to, uh... Flish? Hando. Quixie! Get into a relationship here. Squash. Uh-huh. Viru scans this. Stumpsy Turup. Renea Hislop. Pizoi Brapani. Zanessa Oduma. Hmm. Fenosa Labrachus, Gorch Botane. Ah. Fimpty Swibic, Skisna Plushi, Dimasa. Finalibo! Oh. Noi Foibi, Basu! Karenzi. Flish, Hando. Quatuni, Sepsito. Am I getting their names mixed up? I think I keep mixing up Colette and Maggie. Ah. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Probably. Aha! Luna. <laughs> They look so alike, even if I give them different hairstyles. I guess they don't look perfectly alike, but from a distance they do. I should have made their hairstyles more different. Should I just say this one? Michael's going out with this one. There's this one and that one. Oh. Well, the romance seems to be going okay, kind of. For now, it's going up very slowly, though. Yeah, he's trying to rush this relationship a little bit here. Oh, Ellie and Michael. Jeez, I don't know why. See, now I'm getting Ellie and Maggie and Colette all mixed up. Holy moly. <laughs> I wish their bar would go up a little faster. Come on. I really kind of want to move her out. I want to get them close enough that we can at least elope. Because I'm not going to do a big wedding for her. Because I don't think they really that was a thing for farm girls in the 1890s. They just had maybe a little home room, um, weddings or small church weddings. But at least we got to start here. We'll have to invite him back over again later. Maybe tomorrow. I haven't been doing much with her painting, so maybe we should get her to do some more painting before she moves out, too. Oh, oh, okay. Back to another morning, Friday morning, right before the weekend. Trying to get the girls to work on their cooking skill. Still, I haven't had much opportunity. I think they've only done it a couple times. But I figured it's a good opportunity to have somebody else cook while someone else is using the bathroom. Wait a minute, there's a fire? I hear a fire, I don't see a fire. Where's the fire? What? Why? Is it glitching? Is it there or isn't it? Weird. I guess oh. extinguish? I don't see anything though. Oh, there we go. Oh gosh. Come on. He's spraying her. Why isn't she getting put out? Extinguish yourself, woman. Now see, fire extinguishers aren't very 1890s, but I'm not just going to sit them it's there and watch them burn. That's horrifying. Great. There is not enough time to get her cleaned up and go to school. Oh my gosh, why? Why, why, why? Those poor girls. Now they're going to be traumatized for life. Jeez, she's going to go to school. Stinky. No, sick, probably, because she's eating crappy salad. Because she made a crappy salad after being traumatized by being on fire. Oh my gosh. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He wanted to go out with a caliente? He's supposed to be seeing me. My girl Ellie. Oh my gosh. I guess our romance bar isn't high enough for his approval. Jeez, buddy. It's only been not even 24 hours since we saw you last. And you're already trying to meet up with the next girl. 
We need to move this romance along. Jeez Louise. Alright, let's see. If we can move this up a bit and at least become boyfriend and girlfriend, that would be nice. Why is he sad, though? Some, he doesn't really know anybody in town or anything, because I just placed him, so I don't know if he... Anybody would have died? Oh, crap. What was embarrassing? That did not go well. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Uh, Apologize? Compliment? Something? Uh, uh -huh. Why is he embarrassed? Did he say something uh, stupid? So I don't think I said anything stupid. <laughs> and he's the one who's embarrassed. This is not going well. And now everybody around us is mad, so I think it's kind of affecting how we're interacting with him because now they're not going well. This is not going well. I think we're going to just send Michael home and then maybe try and bring him back on Saturday. Oh, jeez. Relationships are so hard, even in The Sims. All right. Well, we brought him back. I figured a couple hours. At least everybody, not everybody, some people are still mad, but... Well, where did he go? This one fella really seems to like one of the twins. The black-haired guy. I forget his name. I think he's a Robles. I'm sorry. They're not going to be able to get married. Let's see if we can keep getting their romance bar up. I think we lost some romance the last time he was here. No. All right. Slowly creeping up. Oh, first kiss. We can do that now with mom right in the room. That's embarrassing, but... Oh, well. Come on. I should have made the bar go up a bit. It didn't go up very much. Just a little bit. That's sad. Can he be a boyfriend yet? At least things are moving along. She's asking him to be your boyfriend. No, we're not going to be a snob. There we go. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Finally. So we're going to wrap this episode up here. Next episode, hopefully we'll get married and see how things go. Please like and subscribe.